So here, now we have just set it up the next JS with the tailwind and it is working totally fine. And here, what are we doing is we have just defined a component function and inside this function, we are returning a div with a class name of the app. And then inside that we are rendering a hello world and then we have the class name of the text to Excel. So what is this class name? So if you will just hover over this class name, you can see now we have a class of the text to Excel and there we are just applying some of the CSS styles. So we have some CSS styles inside that inside this class. So this exactly shows us that what is a utility class. So a utility class is a class which takes some of the styles of the CSS and then it generates a specific class for that style. So those are the utility classes. So what this utility class is doing the text to Excel. So it is taking out the font size property of the CSS and it is providing the font size of 1.5 REM and the 24 pixels equivalent. And then it took the style of the line height and then it provided the style to the two REM. So then after putting out these styles from the CSS, then it generated this class and it provided these two styles inside this class. So now this text to Excel is a utility class inside the Tailwind CSS. So you can see if we just provide another class like the text 3 Excel, now the text styles will be even bigger. You can see now the text style has been increased. And then you can see if you will hover over it once again, again, you can see now with the text 3 Excel class, this is a different class once again. And here we have different values for the CSS styles. So these are the utility classes inside the Tailwind. So now let's have a look at some basic utility classes inside the Tailwind CSS. So here we have some basic utility classes of the Tailwind CSS and comparing it with the actual CSS as well. So you can see that Tailwind has the independent class for each style. Like you can say we have the text to Excel. It has the independent class like the text to Excel. And then we have some styles like the font size property and the line height property. So that's how the Tailwind works. And there you can see now we have the utility classes and then we have the actual CSS which is working under the hood. So first we have the utility class of the background white. We have the BG white. It means the background is white. But what actually is the CSS? So in the CSS it is the background dash color. We have the background color property and we have defined the color for the white. So you can see it. So you can see this style is equivalent to this styles inside the CSS. So this is a Tailwind utility class and this is the actual CSS which is being applied to this class and same for the P10 and the M10. So P10 is the padding. So we provide the padding as the 10 and we have the 40 pixels and then we have the margin of the 10. Then we have the margin of the 40 pixels. But why this 10 and 40? Because one in the Tailwind utility is equals to the four pixels. So one is four pixels. It means four into 10. And then we have the margin for the 10. We have the margin here as the 40. So these are the utility classes and these are the actual CSS which works under the hood. And again, same if we provide the display property as the flex. So if we provide the flex property inside the utility, it means we have just provided the display as the flex. Same for the flex row. If we provide the flex row, it means we have provided the style of the flex direction and the style name is flex direction into row. And if we provided the justify center, it means we have just provided the justify content into the center. So these are just the basic utility classes of the Tailwind CSS and comparing it with the actual CSS which is being applied. So that's it for the utility classes inside the Tailwind and I will see you inside the next lecture.